everyone. All right, so this is my uh, try or attempt at doing a vlog. Um, and according to your comments and feedback, I'll be doing this more or less. <laughs> so here we go. Um, first, we'll start off. I'm doing the vlog here from my home in Al Shmuel, beautiful place. Um, you can see in back of me, there's Ale Yehuda to the east, Jerusalem to the south, to the north, um, the Shoshua Mountains. And uh, here we go. Okay, so nearing Yom Kippur and within the 10 days of Tshuva, we can't help but think of our last year, our wrongdoings, and how it will affect us in the final judgment up ahead. It is thought that Tshuva, Shila, and Staka will grant us mercy. But what are they exactly? Most Anglos know the English terminology as repentance, prayer, and charity. But that could not be further from the truth, as different languages represent, amongst other things, different cultures, by which, which by nature have different ways of life and a different meaning to life in a sense. We cannot always find specific terms that exactly define the original one in its original language. Repentance, for example, in Hebrew, is chalata, and not tshuva. Repentance is the act of regret and remorse. When someone repents, they regret what they have done <clears throat> and wish to change themselves completely. Throw out the old and come out with the new. Tshuva, though, does not involve regretting who you are or what you did. As every Jew's soul is pure and only tainted, by physical and material inclinations, Tshuva is the connection of the Jew with his pure state and determination to rid himself of the impure inclination. So in fact, it is the desire to retrieve the old and genuine you. Prayer in Hebrew is Bakasha rather than Tfilah. Prayer involves the person asking for things from God. In Tfilah we are taught to connect with God. It is not about asking to be forgiven or for health and prosperity. It is about acknowledging that God is one, that He created us, and that He is our Father and our all. Charity is also not the right word used for interpreting the Hebrew word tzedakah. Charity is when a person under no obligation gives to another who has no right to request. With tzedakah, however, both the giver and the receiver understand that the material world we live in was given to us by God and that nothing is really ours. We all have been lent everything we possess by God, and thus are obligated to help and to give those unfortunate. As we now understand the real meaning of tshuva, tshvila, and tzedakah, going into Shabbat, I invite everyone to reflect, connect, and give, to have an awesome and meaningful Yom Kippur and Gmar Chatimah Tovah. Thank you very much.